coming up this week on the show. We're covering Ray's Minimap Mod. Also, the top Minecraft news of the week. We have an awesome server showcase, our pack picks, and of course, your questions. All that coming up this week. This is Minecraft Me, a show that is about Minecraft where we bring you some of the most awesome tutorials on the internet. Reviews of mods and pack picks that you can use when you play. We take you on awesome adventures. All with Chase and Joe. This podcast is brought to you by Audible.com, the internet's leading provider of audiobooks, with more than 150,000 downloadable titles across all types of literature, including fiction, nonfiction, and periodicals. For a free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash minecraftme. Hey guys, hey everybody, oh, welcome back again to another edition of Minecraft Me, the show that is entirely about the game from Mojang called Minecraft. Yeah, go figure that one out. It doesn't matter. If you're a beginner or an expert, we'd like to show you how to play this awesome Building Blocks game. We are finally home from Minecon, and boy, my arms are tired from all that flying. <laughs> yeah. But hey, if you're checking us out for the very first time, we, we go over some of the hottest mods in the game. We play some beautiful, beautifully crafted adventure maps. And, uh, you know, I've been playing this game really for just a few years now, just a couple of years. And uh, when I first started, I was a level one noob. And by playing through this game, I am now a level eight lava lover. And if you don't know why I'm a lava lover, well, you'll have to go back and watch some of the classics. Now, the person that's been there with me all the way from episode number one, who's shown me the ropes, who's mentored me and guided me through the nether onto a track above a big lava pit and falling into the uh, the big lava pit as gasps were trying to blow me up is this gentleman right here my guide a great teacher an awesome friend here he is folks mr joseph falby hey joe how are you man good Doing it's good it's it, it's kind of weird that we're uh, we're back here doing this show once again and we're not somewhere where we can just hang out and do stuff. We're we're separated by this partition. Wait, I'm pointing. Yeah. I'm always pointing the wrong way. This partition right here. I can't yeah, reach through it and, and find over you. We're on this side. Yeah. Some minor changes. You know, I I thought I would spruce up the place a little bit. You now have your little <clears throat> figure down there in the corner, which you you might Ooh, see. You yeah. see, it's oh, right yeah. down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, little he's, little uh, cute. Down, yeah. down 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 yeah, here. Uh, yeah, down you're, here. you're you're close. Right, right, right there. Yeah, there he is. You're, you're close. Right there. Yeah. So we're here for episode 101. This isn't Minecraft 101. Well, I guess the whole series is, but uh, we, we talk about Minecraft. That's the the premise of the show. We have fun with it. Uh, we, we do cover the Minecraft news of the week, and we have texture pack picks and mod picks. And uh, the show is also going to be improving. I, I know we kind of flirted with this last week uh, with episode 100 that we're going to try to bring in some awesome guests from the Minecraft community because we know you guys want to talk to them. We know you guys have questions for them. And so we want to bring them in on the, the Minecraft talk show, if you will, which is Minecraft Me. So uh, now this week, Joe, we're going to be covering Ray's minimap. Is that how it's pronounced? Is it Rise or Ray's? Is that how it's really pronounced? Or I've been calling it Ray's, but I honestly don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we, we talked about installing it a few episodes ago, just before we went to Minecon. I think two, maybe two or three episodes before we went to Minecon. And I uh, got it all up and running, and then we said, yay, look, now you have a minimap. And left it there. Yep. So this time we're actually going to talk about some of the cool things Ray's does, some of the options you have there, and how you can configure it and make it to your liking. Yeah, we we made it really, really easy for uh, the episode to show you how to install with the new launcher. So yeah. we're not going to go over that this week. If you want to know, uh, just go back and watch that episode. It, it, it still works today. Nothing's wrong with it. They haven't made any changes to the launcher or anything like that. Uh, but we're going to just you know really get deep into it. Uh, we're also going to go over our pack picks this week. Uh, remember, you can always send those in to us. We have a, a server showcase that was nominated. And we, of course, every episode will take your questions. So without further ado, let's jump into the Minecraft news. Here we go. 
Minecraft, Minecraft News of the Week. Yes. All right. So today, as we record this awesome show, the PlayStation 4 has been released, and it's uh, all over, I believe, North America and a few other countries. It will eventually be you know, worldwide soon enough. Now, uh, one thing that was announced earlier this year is that Minecraft was going to be on the PlayStation 4, and it still will be. However, one thing you guys got to note is it's not launching with the PlayStation 4, so it's not a launch title. Uh, 4J Studios did confirm this on their Twitter, and they said on Friday it will not be a launch title. There was no reason uh, for the delay was provided. They don't really have a date. Uh, however, it is in development for the PlayStation 3 and Vita as well, and no dates have been confirmed there either. So obviously not a launch title. I don't know if there's any kind of exclusivity uh, still kind of overlapping with Microsoft and the Xbox One. We really don't know, uh, but it will eventually come out on the PlayStation 4 and their, uh, their platforms as well. So hold your horses, you guys. Don't worry about that. Now, a big, uh, big development that we've heard also from 4J Studios in regards to the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One was, Joe, we, we were talking about earlier in the news weeks ago that 4J Studios said it's not going to be possible to port your game saves over from 360 mm -hmm. to the Xbox One. The architectures are going to be different. The worlds are going to be bigger. You know, it's, it's just not going to be possible. Well, <laughs> guess what? They're working on a system to actually port your save files over to the Xbox One. Uh, they can't say it'll be there. They're not confirming that it's going to happen, but they want to make it happen, and they won't include that feature until it's working perfectly. So for all you guys who use and play on the Xbox 360 and you're getting an Xbox One and you feel like, oh, I'm going to lose everything that I've accomplished and moving over to the new platform, well, <laughs> you may not be out of luck, which is really good to hear. Ah, <sighs> So, Joe, I, yeah. I, I, we, we need to ask you this question. Because yeah. we we know we we know we love playing Minecraft on the PC. We've also covered it on uh, Pocket. We've done it a Pocket episode, uh, yeah. and we actually have some questions about consoles coming up in the in the question segment. But Joe, are you uh, next generation consoles? Are you going to be pulling the trigger and picking up either a PS4 or an Xbox One? Eventually, maybe not uh, at launch. There's a chance. Okay. There's always a chance, but it's not very likely. Um, Fair enough. That's okay. That's all right. I'm I'm more likely to hold off and and wait for Steambox and SteamOS to officially be available and use that in the living room instead. There you go. For your living room gaming, you're you're hope you're hoping that the the Steambox is a reasonable cost and yep. that right way I don't there. have to rebuy all the games I already have. That is true. That is very true. They did say that Steambox. If you have a Steam library, you can just bring them right on over, which is nice. So. So we'll see. But I don't know. I can't say it's impossible. Yeah. It's just not not terribly likely. At Fair least enough. not in the short term. Fair enough. Now, uh, for me, you guys, uh, I will be picking up both consoles. Obviously, I cover them for Geek Gamer TV. And uh, I'm actually picking up the PS4 uh, later on today. <clears throat> and um, Tomorrow. Today. Well, today well, as we record this. Right. Well, tomorrow-ish. Well, what do you mean? Doesn't launch till does it launch till midnight or does it launch no, it at eleven fifty nine? No, it launched at midnight Friday, uh, midnight earlier today. Midnight Friday? Oh, uh, today is Friday. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is this is Saturday number one, Joe. <laughs> it's been a long couple of weeks. <laughs> Fair enough. Final uh, final bits and pieces of news uh, for those who want to know the history of Minecraft. Uh, the documentary is now on YouTube for free in its entirety and ad free. Uh, you can check it out. Uh, they uh, th it was a Kickstarter project originally back in 2011. They blew through that goal. They reached uh, 210 thousand out of a 150 thousand dollar goal. And so, if you want to watch it and know the history, you can go and watch it. And it's uh, completely free and legal. It's not going to be pulled down or anything like that. And we'll have a link in our show notes if you want to check that out. 
no official mine uh, mine con <laughs> I was gonna say minecon and Minecraft in the same word and that's how I get tongue twisted. No official Mojang Minecraft news this week. No doubt they are still recuperating from the awesome Minecon that we went to. Uh, yep. So no news, no uh, <laughs> no release no candidates, no snapshots, like yeah. nothing. Nothing. Yeah, well, we I just had one seven drop, and usually it's there's a few week lag between a major release and snapshots picking back up again. Especially with the big question mark about is the next version going to be the one that includes the API or not? They teased it at Minecon and basically told us what everyone already knew. It's right. coming. Yep. So we'll see. It should be interesting. Either we'll have one eight or we'll have a version with API. And I'm going to guess they're going to call a version with API please, version two. Please, please, yeah. please. We're going to have to start playing on Raspberry Pis if we want API. I guess. <laughs> I mean, we need that so badly because I mean, we're kind of uh, as you guys realize, we're on one five two, and we've been on one five two for a while. And a lot of people are like. I hate you for being on 152. We don't have horses and we don't have these cool yeah. features. And we can't because we use some very important server plugins. Well, the the big and, issue, and I'll I'll talk about this now because I know yeah. the, the questions come up before, but I'll 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 go over it again. Yeah. Is one six introduced horses, which is fine. There's no problem with horses. Love horses. The idea of horses is great. The issue is the grief prevention plugin, which is what we use to control claims and control user access to different areas so that people can't go in and and you know hack apart your house that you just spent decades working on or you know sometimes it feels like decades right yeah. uh, supports one six and it works fine with one six with land and all the old objects but it doesn't work with the animals so if you have a horse tethered someone so, else on your land someone else actually can come up and hop on and ride it off oh my gosh so uh, that's the big issue is right in order to support horses, the guy who the, the group that's doing development on that plugin have to go back and, and change a bunch of stuff, rework how some of the plugin works. And they've been doing beta releases that sort of work on a few things, but not very well. Right. So that's the big hesitation at the moment. Hopefully we'll see a final release or a, a working of a really functional beta from them soon. But I've been trying to keep track of it and it's it's just not been super cons consistent. Yeah. But really that's the only thing we're waiting for. All right. Is uh if you guys don't want your horses to get stolen, that's what we're going to have to wait for. Should, should we, uh, I mean, on? do you think, Joe, we should put it to a vote? Should we have a Well, I, a I mean, I guess there's a couple a couple options there, right? Is if if you build a, a, a barn, say, and put your horse oh, in there every time true. you disconnect, that's someone, true. and then make sure all the doors are locked so other yeah. people can't open them, then, then theoretically they're protected. No and one theoretically, would be able to walk in Joe, in the real world, it. that's how it would work, right? You would have right. a stable for your horse. You yeah. wouldn't leave them out. Otherwise, someone I'm could just waiting them. for, for you know, a, a group yeah. to band together on the server and become a bunch of horse rustlers. Oh, right? God. Steal everyone's horses. <laughs> <laughs> horse wrestlers. It would be, it would be hilarious and also tragic. Yes, fair uh, enough. But but yeah, so I mean, it may maybe that we'll have to we'll have to do that. Um, we'll just have to see. Uh, I, I'm thinking if it if it takes more than another week or two, that maybe we'll just do that and we'll say, everyone build a barn. It doesn't yeah. have to be a very big barn. Just build I something. Mean, you have and we'll just maybe we'll have to add that into stall. our rules and we'll say, yeah. here it is. So there yeah. you go. Well, I think what we'll do is uh, maybe we'll put it to a vote. We'll have an asterisk and say, hey, if you want this, here is the deal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about that. No, that's a, that's a great thing. So uh, there we go. Uh, I want I want to say a, a big thanks, uh, by the way, uh, to uh, these guys who who jump on board uh, last month and they're back again this month. And th those are the awesome people that are over there at Amazon. By the way, they're the ones delivering my PS4. Yes. Amazon also uh, has a, a small little company, a very small company. I, I mean, they have over one hundred fifty thousand titles. And that's called Audible, audible.com. Uh, now, here's the thing. You go to audible.com. Yeah, you, you can get yourself a book, which is great. However, if you head over to audiblepodcast.com slash Minecraft me, you will come to this uh, beautiful page right here. And guess what? You can download an audiobook for free. That's right. Absolutely free. You get a free download of any book of your choice just by going to audiblepodcast.com slash Minecraft me. Now, Joe, you have a, uh, an Audible pick this week that uh, I have not heard about. And what is what is your pick this week? What are you picking? Well, it's a, it's a sci-fi book that I've only really recently started reading. I don't I don't actually have the audio audio version of it, but I've been reading this book. 
and um, and it's it's pretty cool. It's really interesting. It's uh, it's called Spin is the name of the book, and the idea is, uh, in the current day and present time or, or very 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 short future, uh, some kids are out playing in their backyard, and and all of a sudden the stars disappear. What? And the moon disappears. Whoa. And yeah, exactly. It's really weird, and nobody can really un- explain it. And finally, what they managed to figure out is that something or someone has put up a shield around the entire planet, and they've given it an artificial sun. So they st- there's still sunrise and sunset, but oh there's a like a barrier all the way around the pl- the Earth, and and they can't exactly figure out where it came from and what what happened. But it's it's all about oh, and they discover that on the far side of the barrier, time travels passes at a different rate than it does on Earth. Wow. And um, so it's all about humanity and and humans on this planet trying to figure out a way to survive and and uh, trying to they 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 t- terraform Mars with the intent of moving populations there and stuff like that. So it's a really interesting story. I'm I'm not very far into it yet. I haven't had a whole lot of time to read into it yet, but it, so far it's been really really cool and it is really highly rated. A lot yeah, of people really recommend it. A lot it. of people do. So so give it a try if you're into sci-fi. Um I'm I love sci-fi books, but I I have really kind of specific sci- sci-fi tastes. This so far has been really good, and I'm I'm looking forward to it. So well, the, well, the great well thing, worth checking it out. The great thing about audiobooks is you're getting the same text as if you were reading mm-hmm. it yourself, but yeah. you know you get more receptive. I think you get a better picture in your head when you have someone else reading uh, reading it to you. Uh, you get well. More it all dramatics. depends on the person. Yeah, different people take yeah. it, different people do it different ways. Yeah. Um. The one thing I love about about audiobooks, especially Audible audiobooks, is if you already have a Kindle. It supports on the Kindle, yep. and if you have the book on both the Kindle in as a Kindle ebook and as an audiobook, you can start the audiobook and start the Kindle and switch back and forth and do whatever you want. Or it's if, really cool. Or if you have a Rio MP3 player, <laughs> I mean, they yeah. <laughs> they go they go yeah. way back. I mean, Audible's been around from from the beginning. Um, yeah. My my pick this week, you know what? I I went I went Minecraft. I, you know what? Uh, that's the best thing about, uh, you know, Audible. There's books about everything. And guess what I found, Joe? This, you know, I might even pick this up on my own. Uh, here it is: Minecraft Redstone, seventy top Minecraft Redstone ideas your friends wish they know. It's just, it's a short audio book. It's forty minutes long. Now you could use it on Joe's book. You can use it on my book. But obviously, when you're creating redstone things and, and you really want to get deep into it, uh, Jason Scotts actually walks you through and talks to you about how uh, you can use redstone in many different unique ideas. And uh, the great thing about Joe's book or or my book in in picking is they sync up with a Kindle. They use that Whisper Sync technology. Um, which is really cool. So you always know, like if you start listening, say on your computer, and then you pick back up on your Android or iPhone, it knows where you were. So you don't have to kind of scrub and and figure out where to go. So if you want a free book, Joe's book, my book, or pick one of your own, head over to audiblepodcast.com slash Minecraft Me. You get one free book for trying it out. If you don't like Audible, and I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you don't, you can just say, ah, I don't want I don't want Audible. But you get to keep the book anyway. That's the best part. So it's no harm, no foul. Give it a try. Audiblepodcast.com slash Minecraft Me. We want to say a big thank you to them for sponsoring us, which uh, keeps the machine rolling. Thanks a lot, Audible. We really do appreciate it. And now, Joe, it's time for our awesome play it segment this week. We're gonna jump deep. I mean so deep. Into Ray's mini mod, you're going to be a Ray's mini mod master. Um, now, mini map, mini map mod. Sorry, mini map. Mod. Too many yeah. M's. My head hurts. Joe, yeah. question: How long has yes. the has the mod been around? I mean, it's been around for a while, right? Oh, why do you go go, go and ask a question I'm not ready for? Come on, uh, oh, come on. Uh, you're you're the expert. Uh, you're let's see. Expert. Uh, they've had a version that has supported at least since version one of Minecraft, so it's been around for a very long time. Gotcha. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Well, I'm uh, I'm just uh, waiting for my Minecraft. See, I was I was stalling you guys. See, mm-hmm. when you do a show, you want things to run smoothly, and I, I was stalling, waiting for my Minecraft to load. It's finally loaded. It's time to play some Minecraft. Let's play. Here we go. <laughs> L- 
Let's play. All right, so here we are in the server. I am where I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> Let me just jump uh, to where I need to be, and I'm going to make myself uh, visible uh, so everybody can see me. And I'm going to turn on the sound so you guys can hear all the sounds as well. All right, uh, so uh, obviously we're recording the show, and all you guys uh, want to be on camera, which is great. Uh, so hi, you guys. How you guys doing? Hello. But one thing I will do is uh, I will turn off the chat for right now. Uh, now, I do have Ray's uh, mini-map installed, uh, but I have it turned off. Uh, uh, but it's really easy to turn it back on, right, Joe? Uh, what, do I, what do I need to hit? Turn it back on. Yeah, isn't it just M or for the yeah, menu? Yeah, you just hit M. That brings up the menu. Yeah. So uh, pretty much anytime you want to interact with it, M is, is going to be your first stop. And uh, yeah, you just hit M and you, it defaults to enabled. So anyway. All right. And the thing they're is... They're shooting arrows at me. Yeah, and they're shooting arrows at me. And one thing I do need to do is turn off... Uh, I'm going to hide the chat, uh, but I got to keep yeah. my uh, overlay on for right now. So, oh, yeah. Um, all right. So... So you just hit M. Well, I'm going to hit click M. on. All right. Fair enough. Click to enable it. All right. So I'm going to enable sort of it right step. here. And there it is yeah. in the top left hand corner. Yeah. Now what? Well, so. Well, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just well, kidding. Why don't we just go down the commands? We'll just All go. Right. We'll just go down the commands. Uh, so the, the first one, obviously, is turning it on and off. The second one is render type. So surface. Right. Or the other option is biome. And that'll actually show you. Uh, so go ahead and click in, on that second one oh, and it switches over to biome. I that see. actually shows you the biome you're in, and, and it will have different so, colors indicating different kinds of biomes. Oh, but it will I hide see. surface structures and hills. And oh, stuff I see. Like so that. you're just getting a straight, basically geography type. What you have, right? Right. Yeah. So if you, uh, so we're we're over um, a grassland biome right now, or uh, a um, a plains biome. Sorry. Uh, and if we fly, if we go, I have to turn off the way. Real quick. It's only. Uh, let's see if we can find. I think we have some desert or ocean or something out here. Okay, so yeah, if we if you head over towards uh, head basically due east. Oh, that's east, I think. Uh, no, you you were you were to the right. Uh, turn 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 the. Uh, I I, I don't yeah. know which way I'm. Going. I'm sorry. Due west. Due west. Why are the directions all messed up? Anyway, over where uh, to to your behind you. That, that way. Nope. Right. Right. That, that way. That, there you go. That way. Go that way. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You should see me flying around near the Canadian flag. Oh, you're near Canada. Fair enough. Yeah. It's drawing in right now. Yep. Oh, there you are. I see. There. there. Okay. But you see how the map. Uh, so go back to your. Go back to the menu. So hit M and switch that over to to biome. Oh, you can yeah. see the diff the separation. So yeah. now actually we're over a forest biome. So you can see the color change. If you go over a desert biome, it'll change. If you go over a so this is tundra biome or a this is useful yeah. if you want to grow uh, go in a different area. Right. And you if you want to if you want to know the biome, biome you're going to go over. You can see which one it is, especially if it's already built up or something like that. So most of the forest has been cut down here because of. Uh, people moving and 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 constructing stuff around here, so that's right. what that's to be expected. Okay. Uh, the next one death is point. death point. Oh. Now, what's really cool about that is, if you're playing and you die, this will put a marker on the map where you died. Oh, that's nice. Now, on on our server, you can always do slash back, and it'll take you back to where you died. Right. So you can pick up all your stuff again. But if you're on another server and you still want to see where you died at, you can use Death Point and it will actually show you where you died. Very cool. Died. I like that. So really good for going back and finding your gear. Just remember, with current versions of Minecraft, other mobs, other creatures can pick up your gear. So if you were carrying oh, some sweet armor and a sweet sword and a sweet bow and arrow and you get back there, you may find a skeleton or a, a zombie a little harder to kill <laughs> than normal. Um, I've seen it happen. It's usually entertaining for everyone except the guy who loses all this stuff. Of course. Uh, yes. <laughs> so sense. we're going to skip the sub menus real, real quick and go down to update check. Obviously, let's just check to see if there's any updates. An auto update check. So uh, it can self update to some degree or at least can notify you if there's a, an there's update available. No update. Uh, we're using 1523.3 underscore 06. Okay. Right, so that is the current version uh, for this version of Minecraft. Okay, fair uh, enough. And it will keep you in line if you, if you, even if you turn this on and you're running an older version of Minecraft, like we're running one five instead of one seven, it will tell you whether there is so like one three or three four is actually available, but it only supports one six. Ah, I got gotcha. So it's not even going to tell us that there's an update available because there isn't one for one five. So it's actually pretty smart about that. All right, all right. Uh, so let's hit the the. The next thing I want to talk about is that that key config button on the bottom right. 
Okay. And we're going to go into here, and I know we're kind of going in a funny order, but we're going to go in here and we're going to talk about what these are. So these are shortcut keys to allow you to interact with the map without having to bring up the menu and click on things. Right. So M obviously is the default key for toggling the menu system at all. You can change it whatever you want. Now, one thing to mention here, Joe, is these mm -hmm. buttons don't interfere with your Minecraft play because these are unused buttons, right? Basically. Right. The default ones are all unused buttons, but you can set them to whatever you want. So normally they won't interact with your, they won't interfere with, with playing Minecraft, but you can set them so they would, I suppose. Right. I don't know why you'd want to do that. No, no, It'd be kind of distracting if every time you, hit, you know, right. forward your map flashed on your screen. On of course. Process. But anyway, you could if you wanted to. Uh, and then there, you can see there's a whole bunch that are not mapped. Uh, enable or toggle enable, toggle render type. Those are the two things we already talked about. Zoom, uh, we'll show you what, uh, show you zoom and, and large map in just a second here. Okay. Um, large map label turns on and off labels just like it, it would on the small map. Uh, visible, waypoints visible. We're going to hit waypoints in a little bit, but this is here, here's where you can hide them, all of them, uh, and change what the markers are and stuff like that. Uh, entities By radar. By the way, Joe, Joe, we, yeah. really, we really should go back to the spawn area. I just thought about Why? that. I mean, everybody's Why? here. And, yeah. and wanting to hang out with us, and we, we just walked yeah. away from them. Well, that's we did. So, wait, that's so mean. Well, well, we had to go find another. I know, but I'm I'm gonna hit slash. Uh, uh, actually, I need to bring up my. Uh, Here. Thanks. I I you turned off better? chat. Yeah, I do. I mean, yeah, we'll okay. hang out with these guys. So. <laughs> no, that's no problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> so back to but back to the map. Got it. Added back to, to key, the key config. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, waypoints, entities radar, that'll hide and show different entities when it detects them. Uh, set waypoint, you have to have some of these enabled. Um, waypoint list, that's a good one. Um, it's a good one to map, uh, to have connected. And zoom in and zoom out basically are, I mean, let you zoom in and zoom out of the map. Okay. So those keys, some of those are really useful to have enabled. Um, I'm going to turn off What's the, the button to turn off the rain? Uh, I just pushed it. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> So uh, obviously, some of those you're gonna, you may want to map remap to what you want. Uh, some of them you may not care about. Uh, some of them are useful, but you can get to them in other ways. All of these commands are things you can get to from the menus as well. Cool. Just to give you an idea. All right. So um, so go ahead and hit uh, escape and get out of that. All right. And now we're back to just having the mini map in the top left hand corner. But say you're you're walking around and you're like, I want a little more detail, or I want to try to map out an area. I want a little more detail. You can have a large map instead of the mini map. Ooh. You just hit X is the default command to bring that up. Wow! Now you can see it's a nice large map. You can get a really good sense of what's there. And say you want to get a little tighter and see something closer. Hit Z a few times Enhance. and you'll see it actually zoom into the map. Enhance and give you a really Enhance. Yeah, you don't have to say enhance. Enhance. It, oh. it hits. Um, <laughs> it hits. Uh. So eventually it'll zoom back out. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's still really, really cool and really handy to be able to do that and have that that mini map overhead view. Very cool. I um, like that. Yeah. So some other things. Mini map options. Let's go back to the menu and hit mini map options. All right. Uh, up at the top, map shape if you want it square or round. Uh, round is kind of cool because it will Give you show directions. you the cardinal directions and it yes. will rotate with you as you move around. I do like that. Uh, That's nice. So if you uh, if you actually um, if you if you close out the menu and spin around, you'll see the whole map spin. So it's always going to face up. Will always be the direction you're facing, not north. See? Ooh, I like that. And look, if you look so closely enough, you can see a little line. That uh, lines uh, uh, actually, it's a crosshairs, so you can kind of see. There's a little mini crosshairs. Yeah, you right can see a, a line, and that indicates the direction you're facing. So they're they're trying to the they're, they're trying to shoot you, Joe. Yeah, they they've been trying to do that since I was in the server. Yeah, fair enough. It's okay. I'm going to spawn a herd of bats to attack them in a minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> we just talked about how mean moderators could be being, and and that's a great demonstration. I'm going to spawn some <laughs> bats. <laughs> All well, right. bats are harmless. Yeah, fair enough. They're still fun. Yeah. So, okay. My bats. Anyway, uh, right. So uh, back to this. Yeah, yeah. Let's get back to the task of Dan. All right. Uh, so the next one is texture. Okay. And it just gives you a different textures for the outside. You can see one of them has kind of a, a silver. If you yeah, if you switch back around, you can see one of them looks sort of like an old fashioned compass or an old clock watch. Oh, very nice. Or an old you know pocket watch type look. Cool. I I 
I don't know. It's just your choice. Whatever your preference uh, sure, is. Yeah. Whatever your preference. Uh, I'm sure that there are other options. You can probably do uh, do custom textures and stuff like that. Um, map position obviously puts it in different places. Uh, you can put it in any one of the four corners. Um, I usually put mine in the top right. Um, just because whenever I have the, uh, you know, how you, you, you hit F3, you have that info, info screen. That's yeah. usually on the top right. And so I have that up and I'll have the mini map up on the right. Makes sense. It's sort of a personal option. The only reason, yeah. uh, I, for the show, I have it in the left, but when I play on my own, I have it in the right. Yeah, same way. Yeah. And uh, um, again, there's a, a key, a key map you can do to change that. So if oh. you're playing and you're like, oh, it's in my way, you can just map it to a key and move it to another corner. Really wow. Easy. Um, map scale. Uh, if you click through that, you'll see it change sizes. Um, obviously, it's just like the 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 GUI scale that you can have. Uh, but you can kind of have a bigger, like a bigger small map. Almost right. You can you can make the map bigger if you want to, or you can or you can make it smaller. I usually leave it at auto, which seems to map pretty good to your window size. Sort of like you know the default GUI scale for uh, for right. Minecraft itself. And then map opacity is really cool. Uh, if you you know, you want your map, but you don't want it to be visible, like totally visible, take over the entire screen. You hit that a few times, and you'll actually change how clear it is. Uh, and so you'll be able to see right through the map itself. Mine is it not doing it on yours? Yeah, it's not doing it on mine, oddly. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Go back to your menu. Okay. The upper one. Map opacity, not large map opacity. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. So oh, there's yeah. two different settings. One's for the large map, and one's for the small map. Very cool. So if you can even, in fact, that's not a bad point, is uh, on the, the large map, and the large map has scale options as well and opacity options. So, yeah, you can set the large map opacity to be low right, so you so. can continue walking without having this map block your entire view. You know, you can have the map up and see where you like are. That. But it, Yeah, exactly. You kind of get a, sh a ghost map in, in front of you. Uh, so you can still interact with things. If you're walking through an area and all of a sudden you see a skeleton, you, and instead of having a big map blocking your view, you can see it right through there. Makes sense. Uh, or a zombie or a yeah. creeper, you know. Um, next one is ma large map label display. Okay. Uh, or large map label. And so that just labels the, the map. Uh, some of the labels that are on the map turns them on and off on the large map only. You can't really turn them some of them off on the smaller map. Um, filtering... You know, I haven't really gotten into filtering very much. I'm not exactly certain what it's filtering. Oh, if you look at the map, you can see it. It kind of gives a or it gives yeah, that haze. It, it hides some items. Um, or well, no, it, if you it, look it makes closely. some blocks. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you can see it on the map. It it like mutes out some things. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what it's doing. It might be smoothing edges and stuff like that. I really don't know. Um, show coordinates. I like this option, and I usually turn it off. Uh, and the reason I turn it off is if, and I and I th honestly think you probably should turn it off too. If we're doing a show and we have the map up, you don't necessarily want people to see where you are. So if you do screenshots, something like that, the map, the coordinates may show up, and you may not want to show them. It makes if, sense. on the other hand, you don't know how to get your coordinates another way, turn it's a on. great way to get them. Right here. Yeah, it's perfect. So, yeah. And you can get them a couple different modes. Uh the m type one is full digit coordinate. So that's the entire block where you are. The type two is all the way down to the, the sub coordinate, right? So that's why you get two decimal places on that. Um, and then also shows you exactly where your feet are instead of your eyes. It, it just depends. Sub one or type one is probably your best option, especially if you're, if you're doing a, a showcase. We don't care how many decimal places you want. We need a block, you know. We're right, not, makes sense. We're not going to teleport to uh, a third of a block. It's just ridiculous because yeah. if your if your project's a third of a block, it's not a project. It's a block. Yeah. Right? Uh, so anyway, uh, that's really cool. I like those uh, menu key that hides and and shows the if you if you know you can push M to bring up the menu. Maybe you don't want that up. You don't need a reminder. Right. Right. Uh, font scale. It does exactly what you would expect. Scales the font. Seems yep. uh, I mean, that one seems obvious. Uh, default zoom. So remember how we can zoom in on the map? Uh, default key is hitting Z to zoom in on the map. So that you can is have just it. what the standard zoom, when you load Minecraft up, what it defaults the zoom to. I see. So if I want it to be default to that, I hit Z. Well, I'm sorry, X. Well, it, it matters when you first start Minecraft more. Because oh. at this point, you've overridden what your default zoom is. I see. Right? You've set another zoom. So when you restart Minecraft, what you want that zoom to be. Makes sense. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Um, 
map type, map mask type. Uh, that's mostly for round map. It hides the edge uh, around the yeah, if you look the bezel. Very, if you look very closely, yeah. you can see it stick out just a little bit. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yep. Uh, update frequency. Update frequency is all about uh, how much CPU you have and, and how often you want the map to update. If you're in an area where there's a lot of building going on, you may want to decrease how frequently it updates in case people are doing a lot of block placement, stuff like that. Um, I usually leave it at middle, and that seems to be okay. Uh, threading. If you're running uh, a version of Java that supports multi-threading, which is most versions nowadays, and you have a multi-cord processor, you can turn that on. And what that'll do is actually run the minimap process on a separate core of your CPU. Oh, that's nice to know. So yeah. it won't impact job, uh, It won't impact Minecraft itself as much. And then thread priority, uh, you know, leave that at low. You can turn it up, but you might see some impact, performance impacts right. uh, for the rest of Minecraft. And preloaded chunks, um, that's just, uh, you know how it'll pre, uh, the game itself will preload chunks in your area. This is the same sort of idea if it'll preload, preload chunks as you're moving through the map. It's not a bad thing to leave enabled um, or to, to enable it. But there's, if you're on a decent connection with a decent computer, you're not going to see a huge difference between preloaded or enabled or disabled. Um, you might see slightly faster updates on some of this stuff. Okay. Very uh, cool. Surface map, the next option. So you hit back. Uh, surface map options. Lighting. If you want it to always show it as if it was daytime, you hit daytime. If you uh -huh. want it to always show as if it was nighttime, you hit nighttime. If you want it to map to, uh, to, to what it is right now, you hit dynamic. Cool. I like that, go. actually. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Uh, to, uh, lighting type. Ooh. This one is, is another cool one. Uh, you can actually change how bright different areas are, uh, whether they get light from the sun or light from the objects placed around them or not, that sort of thing. I usually leave it on type 2 just because I think it looks it's brighter. It's easier to see the map itself. Um, terrain undulate. All of these options affect the display and what, how the terrain appears. Uh, whether it shows up the um, shows uh, hills and stuff like that, you know that that sort of thing. It's a little hard to explain, but yeah, you basically can go through all these and see different, uh, see how they affect the map and see what you like the best. I leave most of them enabled because I think they look pretty good. Um, hide snow if you're in a snowy area and you don't want to see the snow, you just want to see the terrain. You know. Turn that on. So you can actually see what, what's underneath the snow. What's yeah, underneath sense. the snow, yeah. yeah. So it's a really cool one. Uh, show chunk grid. I like this one a lot because you can click on that and actually see the chunks. You actually draws a grid over the map and shows you exactly where the chunks are, which is really good if you're um, if you're working on something, you want to keep it in a couple of chunks. You don't want to have it expand too much. Uh, I think that's a really nice one to have. And sl uh, show slime chunk. That'll highlight chunks where slimes are no to known to spawn. Um so if you're looking for uh, sticky piston, you know if you're looking for the the slime from those uh, from or you're looking for the goo for the from the slimes, that's a, a good one to turn on. Cool. Um. So now we're gonna get into, uh, well we'll do marker options real quick. Markers. Uh, these are mostly for waypoints. Uh, you can set these however you want to set them. Uh, but we'll talk about what waypoints are uh right now, because. Well, actually, okay, the last menu is about minimap. Who's setting right. off fireworks? Uh, I'm not sure. Somebody is. It's Captain. He is. Or I'll... Or I'll uh... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um. Oh, dude. <laughs> All right, go on. <laughs> waypoints. Well, uh, okay, so uh, waypoints. Uh, waypoints are really, really cool things. Uh, um, they basically will let you set a position any wherever you are. So, uh, if you're building on something and you want to have a marker saying this is where I want to center everything off of, you can set a waypoint there. And there's a, and this is really where Ray's minimap becomes super, super powerful. Uh, you can do it from the waypoint menu and uh, where you are and hit add and you name the waypoint you whatever you want uh, you can set the color to whatever you want okay so I'm gonna call it sign so it down spawn. there you can you can modify the color by just dragging those sliders around turn it whatever color you want and uh, then once you hit okay you do a red waypoint yep yeah 
Now, look, you have a red diamond on your screen. Oh, wow. And if you if you hit if you close out of the menu and, and exit all the way out and back up, you'll see that red diamond and it tells you what it is and tells you how far away it is. Oh, that's great. So it's really cool. So if you're drawing a circle or something like that, you can set this at the center of your circle and just do a slow loop around it. As long as you keep the right distance, you'll you'll draw a pretty good circle around a specific point. So I yeah, think it's a really cool thing. It's like, say, like, all right, 10 meters here, mark. Yeah. And then I'll go over here, 10 meters here, mark. 10 meters here. Right. And, yeah. And you I'll just drop going. a block. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. So it's it's a really cool, cool feature. And the nice thing is those will draw from huge distances away. You can be across a map and still see where and that is. And will you see it on your mini map as well? Like, Yeah, it shows up on your mini map. You can actually see you have a little red diamond on your mini map now. Oh, you I see do. that up yeah. in the top left, yeah, that red sure diamond? Do. So that is that marker. And I can turn and, it on uh, or off. So yeah, you can toggle it. You can change the color, uh, and uh, yeah, interact with it. So if you have a bunch of bunch of waypoints that you want to disable or remove, you can just go in here and, and disable them. If you want to remove them, hit, you hit that remove button, and see how it's highlighted green. Keep click on that, and there it'll get rid of it. Hit remove, and it's gone. Wow, very so that's how you cool. delete the waypoints. And the waypoints are per world, so you can have waypoints in all the different maps that we have here. So. Overworld, uh, the regular nether, overworld, right. nether. Uh, can you put them in the, the end? end and, of course, the resource maps, too. Wow. Now, granted, um, you still have to get there. Uh, but you still have to get there to set the way. Actually, you really don't. Uh, that's what's kind of cool is hit add. Okay. And see where it has the coordinates. Yeah. So you can actually go in there and type new coordinates. Oh, so I can type in, uh, say I want to type in, make a number, we'll say 1,000. Let's say, I'm going to yeah. say, I'm going to call this the unknown. Because I really don't know yep. where that is. I'm going to hit OK. And now it's on. And now, it's actually, yep. look, if you look at the mini map, hey, you, you get, get a you little, have a little arrow. arrow pointing the direction that it is. All right. And if you if you exit out of the menu and turn that direction, you'll actually see it. There you it should is. be able to see it on your map, yeah, or on your screen. And So there you go. And it tells you how far away from you it is. Yeah. How neat is that? Yeah, so the the waypoints are really really cool. Now adding them that way mm -hmm. by bringing up the menu and hitting add waypoint is kind of kludgy. Right. So that's where that key config comes in. Ah, up. very good. So so you actually can just create a waypoint right where you are mm -hmm. uh, by hitting C is the default command. See right waypoint. there. Yep. And I yep. can bring up a list too if I, you know, want to yeah, use. Yeah, you a can list key. all your waypoints if you want to have a, a shortcut to that. So when you hit that C button, say I want to put uh, a waypoint on top of the sign. Does it ask yeah. me for a name or does it just set a point? Yeah, so hit C and you'll you'll see the really familiar menu. Ah, uh, look at that. There it is. Oh, so you put cool. in your name, you put in the color you want to do. If you want to tweak the coordinates at all, you can do that. And uh, and yeah, you just hit hit go, and it creates your waypoint. Oh, I forgot to hit go. Or did I? No, it's there. Nope, there it is. Yeah, it's there. Very cool. There it is. So waypoints are what make Ray's minimap really, wow. really cool and really powerful. That's very is powerful. that ability to to set these waypoints wherever you want them and, and have a whole path of them. So if you wanted to uh, if you wanted to mark out an area that you're planning on excavating, you can use waypoints to define the corners and you'll always be able to see them. Uh, if you uh, you know if you want to define a path, you can set a series of waypoints and just connect that path together to make that route. So really, really cool. And you can really also powerful looks like stuff. you can turn off the icons. Uh, yeah, you can change. Yeah, so you can set it so that it, it won't show you how far away the way the, they are. You can set all those different marker options. Um, if you just want to see the markers, you don't want to see the the actual. Uh, uh, you just want to see the icon rather, not the name. You can do that. Turn off the label. Uh, if you don't want to hide the yeah, you don't want to see the label. You just want to see how far away they are. All those really cool things, really really powerful stuff. Uh, and there are, um, I mean, there's more here too. There are other things that it can do once you get into it. But really playing with it for a while, especially I love uh, the the big view map. I just think that's fantastic for roaming around and getting an idea of what's out there. Um, you know, it's really easy to follow a road with that up because the the view is so close, and you can go down and find an area that's a that's free that's available that nobody's built on. That so, is so really neat. cool, really powerful stuff. Um, but yeah, I I've been really really amazed with Ray's mini map and uh, been using it a lot. Wow. So well, there you go, you guys. I mean, really, Ray's mini map very powerful. There's a lot of those things that I didn't even know about, and uh, give it a try. We do allow it on our server. It's very, very useful. 
uh, especially when you have many different areas of the map. It's obviously making your own custom map. Maybe you have uh, some awesome places uh, that you want to see on the server and they, you don't own them and you don't want to burn one of your slash home commands to get to. Uh, you can just yep. mark it and then you can just go to it and check them out. So it's really, really yeah. cool. Wow. Now, uh, Chewbacca in the IRC, he asks if you can see claims. And unfortunately, Raise Minimap doesn't integrate with, because it's all client side. There's no server side component to this. Uh, so it doesn't gotcha. integrate with with grief prevention. So no, you can't really see claims. All you can see is the map that's there. But uh, still yet, yeah, you can get out to an area. If it looks open, grab out your, uh, grab out a stick, whack the, you know, fire, you know, hit the stick on the ground, right click with the stick on the ground, and it'll tell you whether or not that area is claimed. That is so neat, man. I think I just think that's so awesome where you can see stuff from above, and I just yeah, that's really it's really a it's cool. a cool program, and it will actually adapt to the texture set you have. So if you have a texture set that has different colors or something like that, it will show you uh, the map in that texture set. Well, what we'll do is we'll definitely show that off when we get into our uh, our pack picks here. So awesome, awesome stuff. I'll leave I'll leave the mini map on. Uh, for our our texture pack pick, so awesome, awesome, Joe! I love it, which is really really yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I think Rays is, is such a cool wow. cool tool, um, and it's free. And uh, yeah. send a note to Ray. Let him know that. Send a note to him and let him know that uh, you love it and you use it. And we showcased it this week. All right, Joe. Well, it's it's time now once again for for this, and I'm gonna play this awesome tune. It is time for everyone's favorite segment on Minecraft Me, Lo and Behold, the Almighty. No, I'm just messing with you. It's time for Pack Picks. All right, time for the Pack Picks. Now remember, you can send them into the show, Me at geekgamer.tv. Just put on the subject line, Pack Picks. Real simple. And send us what you like and what you're using. So, Joe, I'm going to jump to yours. Uh, what did you pick this week? Uh, so I uh, ran across this pack called Hawk Pack Alpha. Hawk Pack. Hawk Pack Alpha. Ooh, I haven't yeah. even tried it, and hopefully it works. Yeah, uh, it it works on my client. Oh, it works. It looks Good. a little weird. What do you mean looks a little well, weird? I don't know. All right, go ahead. You get used to it after a second. Fair enough. So uh, it's a standard res texture pack. It's not a high res texture pack. So. It's just a, uh, or I'm sorry, I, I guess it is a 32 by texture pack. Okay. Uh, but you you can see it's it's just sort of a texture pack, right? I mean, it's, <laughs> it's sort of a texture pack. Ooh. It is. Uh, now I, mean, I like you can the, see doors. the doors. Yeah, the doors have like a security thing. Uh, they they sort of have a computer ish uh, detail. They, they, to they, them. they also have a little self promotional thing. There, very nice. Okay. They, yeah, they do. It, it, it's it's connected to something else, but I'm not really sure what. Okay. So anyway, um. Yeah, it's a it's kind of a cool kind of a cool map, or cool texture pack. Uh, pretty pretty simple, like I said, nothing too overly complex. Just an all around okay pack. It's it's not you is, know like is mind my blowingly really this amazing. blue? Man, that's really blue. Uh, no, it's normally not that blue. Yeah, that's really blue. In this texture pack, it is. Um, so yeah, you can look around. It's it's a I think it's just a you know it's a it's a texture pack. Yeah. Uh, some of the objects I like. Um, it, it's it's. I, I, I do like kind of like the wood planking. I like the the funky doors are cool. Um, the uh, some of the some of the stuff looked really interesting in the item frames. So I'm interested in seeing what they look like. Finally, uh, some of the stuff doesn't look like it's drawn in there. I do uh, one thing I do like is um, the heads are improved with the red eyes on the enemies, <laughs> uh, but they are not disturbingly improved. Like I like the a, nether quartz ore. I like that. We actually have a wither wither head over here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the the look of that nether quartz. That that does look really good. The emerald, I think the emerald blocks, the the actual material blocks, I think all look pretty good. They're they're just flat. Yeah. You know, I mean they they look like blocks, and the, but I like the ore blocks too. I really think those ore blocks are cool. I like the and blocks. a glowstone. Yeah, block. I like these blocks. So, um, and then heading inside into the machine room, oh, I guess there's a few more things, but nothing to the uh, oh the dirt block, the gravel block. Sorry, that's a gravel block. Anyway, uh, yeah, heading inside, you can see there is uh, some more tweaking on some of the me mechanics, machinery. The TNT block looks pretty cool. Um, the, uh, uh, what is this? A note block and a jukebox. They they say hawk. Hi, hawk. 
And the beacon is blue. I don't understand. Now why I like blue, the bookcase. I don't know. The bookcase. Uh, oh, actually has uh, names. Yeah, but How? I don't. I don't know if I like that. Redstone. Redstone for idiots. Harry Potter. Yeah. How to. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know if I like that. The uh, uh, pistons look like standard pistons. Yeah. Um, the interestingly, the redstone I rails. Like, the, yeah, they got the some... rails look really different. Um, you can see they they look very different, which I kind of like. Yeah. Um, we'll 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 check out the redstone when we go outside. Um, yeah. Very very so, but yeah, I mean overall, it's it's like uh, you know, it's a it's a texture pack. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, so, um, so Joe, what what do you uh, what do you? Well, first of all, we'll uh, while I'm uh, jumping out here, so I got stuck. Yeah, the I I like the redstone. Redstone's pretty simple, easy to follow, yeah, it, just oh, straight lines. I like yeah. the redstone. Oh, I like this. Uh, the repeaters are all clean. I like the side of the water. That looks kind of. Oh yeah, cool. the side of the water is cool too. Yeah. So what do you think? Uh, I'm pretty neutral on it. I'm going to give it a neutral thumb. I, I, it's nice. You could use it as an every, everyday texture pack. They've got some good additions to it, but it's not a mind blowing, amazing, fa uh, fantastic texture pack either. Uh, I think it's just sort of uh, average, you know, I mean, if, if it's your style, it's your style. So, so, uh, so you're, so it's kind of average, huh? I think it's kind of average. Yeah, it's not average. It's negative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's mine. I, I, you know what? Uh. I, I I I am giving it a thumbs down. Uh, first off, I, I I don't like the the promotional opportunities inside the texture blocks. I I mean, yeah, I understand that they made this and that's great and all, uh, but I'm I don't think it's actually a real website though. Hawkprojects.net. I don't think it's associated with them. An online Minecraft fan site. It might be. All I'm saying is I, I don't like the promotional thing. I don't like the, the one of the titles on the side of the books. I'm not going back to it to show it to yeah. you. Um, that kind of stuff really turns me off because, you know, you know, I know a lot of kids like to play with these texture packs, and some of the stuff is that I, I, I just don't think that's appropriate. And um, so that's that's why I'm a that's, – that's why it's a no, no, no for me, a thumbs down. All right, uh, my my pack pick this week is uh, one that I discovered. It's uh, very aptly named. Let me uh, jump to it here. Um, this should be in alphabetical order. I'm missing it. I know I'm missing it. Uh, what was it called? <laughs> smoother. Yeah, there it is. It's called Smoother Than Default. That's all it's called, smoother than default. And as you could see, it, it does change the fonts a little bit. Uh, I've seen this font used on a few other things. Uh, you guys should see that. There we go. Yeah, I was uh, gonna say it's still it's still on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I the it is smoother than default, as you could see. And uh, they changed the font, which I kind of like. Uh, we've seen that font used before. Let me go inside here. We'll take a look at the doors. And as you can see, it's just some slight changes. This is a sixteen. Uh, by 16 texture packs, so you can use it very, very easily. Let me look around here. You can see some bricks, the wood planks. I mean, it's it's really it's it's very close to default with some some minor smoothness tweaks to it. As you can see, the cauldron there, it's got some smoothness to it. Uh, let, me, let me spawn eggs. Let's look at the uh, the different fabric blocks there. No changes here, really. I do like the mossy stone. If you come back a oh, little ways, I didn't, I didn't even see. Oh yeah, you can see it's it's a little more subtle. It's like yeah. crack stone, sort of the same way. The sponge is so weird; it, it always looks weird. funny to me. Yeah, it like, well, it's the oddball. Yeah. Anyway, redstone's uh, got a nice like aura to it. Uh, same thing with emerald. I, I kind of like that. He smoothed it down, obviously. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, look at the machine room here. Uh, the enchanting table. I mean, all these things, the cauldron, the hopper. I mean, these things have just been slightly tweaked a bit. Uh, but it keeps that original feel to it, which I kind of like. Yep. The bed. And the bed is a griefer sheet. Uh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Or uh, not a griefer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, dropper and dispenser, easily to see. The redstone mm -hmm. is pretty much standard. No major changes there. 
Uh, mm. Let's go and look at the other stuff. The stuff in the rails, activator rails, daylight sensors. I mean, minor slight changes to it, Joe. I mean, for mm -hmm. me, I think it's it's pretty good. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I, I think if you want some slightly changes to default, if you don't have a heavy-duty system and you can't run um, a heavy-duty texture pack, I think this will work for you. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll get a, a si uh, you know a far away. You know, there's no major redstone changes as you could see. Uh, the repeaters do have a small, twi uh, you know, little tweak to them. Uh, and uh, you know, it's it's smooth. It runs well, and it's it's clean. I, I you know, I think those those are important qualities and don't give you a headache. Uh, <laughs> what's up with your head? Yeah, someone commented. Oh, Joe. Yeah. Um. What? You're a zombie. It happens. Yeah, fair enough. I, I have a cape. Yeah. Look at my cape. I haven't put my coat in yet. Yay, I'm flying with my cape. <laughs> anyway, um, what do you think, Joe? What's... Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm going to go neutral on this one, too. It, it, is, wow. it is slightly different from the other, but it's awfully close. And uh, I honestly think if, if you're looking for something that's close to the original, um, but slightly improved, I would go faithful before I would go this one. Fair enough. Okay. So there's our pack picks, you guys. If you want to send them into the show, you, you definitely can. All you got to do is Minecraft me at geekgamer.tv. Put pack picks in the subject line. Let us know what you're using. And uh, we'll showcase it on the show. And speaking of showcases, it's now time for the server showcase of the week. Now, you have to go to minecraftme.com. Head over to minecraftme.com, and there you can send in. And actually, I got to turn off my mini map on this one because there's coordinates on it, <laughs> so I can't show it yet. Uh, I'm gonna disable coordinates on this one. Uh, there we go. So, uh, so here we go. It's now time for the server showcase of the week. Server showcase of the week. All right, here we are, and uh, let me uh, read this off to you guys. Uh, the server showcase was submitted to the show uh, by BroDude1234. Uh, this was built by Alterad, and this is what he said. He said, there's a tower behind you when you teleport, and stairs leading down to a totally radical underwater complex, complete with farms and a grinder, as well as lots of villagers. Because it showcases some impressive talent of the lesser-known members of the community, it has to shine. So let me uh, switch to our uh, my standard pack that I do all this under, which is a uh, faithful 32, and that's all done. And uh, so here is the entryway. And the thing is, you know, it just it doesn't look very big. Here's some villagers hanging out here. Uh, it's got a little dock. Let me just kind of zoom back a little bit. That's where all the magic is. Is down there. So. Uh, Joe, yeah. So here, uh, real, real quick, let me, um, let me throw you this. Throw here. me what? Take, uh, take. Where'd you go? There, there you go. Drink that potion. It's a night vision potion. Oh wow. Okay. And then come on back out. You can look down through the water a lot easier and see. Oh my goodness. The outside, what that complex is, and you can see it goes underground, underwater too. Underground, yeah. under. Anyway, I know what I meant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Underground, underwater. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, pretty cool. A pretty cool complex from out here. Uh, and I was looking around. There's another really cool build off to the, uh, what, off to the east here um, that we'll have to come back to. So let me, so uh, we'll head down that. and and, uh, and go underwater. And actually, I'm going to turn off my waypoints because they're a little distracting right now. Uh, if I remember right, minimap options. Is it? No, it's under, I always get this wrong. Sorry, I'm still getting used to it. Uh, marker options. Uh, marker, turn all those off. So you can just delete all the waypoints, too. I could do that, too. All right. I'm heading down. And I just... Uh, this is so cool. So we're now underground, underwater. <laughs> hey, Joe. Uh, and look, he's got a cart system here set up. This is great. Really cool. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Must be a mine down here. Let's take a look. I don't know. Oh, yeah, he's doing... Yeah, this is some mining area, it looks like. Uh, so let me just jump back up here. Yeah, it looks like just a simple mine. Uh, but let's uh, take a walk down the other side here. I like the use of the redstone blocks as accents in different areas. Yeah, I like how that looks. Hey, guys. 
Hey, how you doing? Cows. Moo. Oh, he's got a zombie grinder down here. Zombie grinder. So let's take a look here. Oh. What, are you stuck? Yeah. Uh, there's no button on this side either. Well, no, the button's not working. Yeah, yeah, you don't have... Okay, now... Okay. Oh, I know. I need it. Go ahead. Ah, there we go. Whoa. Oh, I just fell. So it's not, you know, obviously the most efficiently laid out. Ooh, there's some lava down there. That looks... Ah, actually, you know what? I like how he just popped a window here. Oh, he's he's building a, a grinder is what he's working on. So he's... Uh, oh, oh, that's a long fall. Yeah, he's in the middle of building. This is a this is this will so this will be the dark room. Oh, I follow. And you. they'll fall down into this and get damaged. Yeah, and then he'll flow water around to uh, bring them back over to where. Look at all the droppers so, he's got here. Yeah, so he's working on a on a zombie grinder right now. Okay, um, that's what this room is going to become. I'm a little lost. Uh, let's see here. I'm still lost. Oh so, yeah, here here's how here's how we can get out. Oh right here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's no button on that side. I can't get through. There it goes. Oh, there try it go. again. There you go. There you go. Okay. Hey villager. Alright, uh, we went that way. That's Man, this it is a little a little funny laid out. I love the air the the oh, directly under the under the water areas. He's got the the cane form. Now here's the great thing. Look at this. You can look up, and you can see yep. all the squiddies. And wow, this is really cool. I like the underwater stuff. I mean, this stuff is a challenge because you got water flowing in. You got to block it off, and it is so hard. Yeah, Chewbacca of seventy seven in the chat room wants to know how many times did he die, drown making this? I mean, <laughs> this is tough. Yeah. Remember, you guys, this is all done in survival mode too. Uh, so he had to gather all the materials, all the glass, all the panes, all the blocks, and had to put it all together. And then he's got a little uh, waterfall here. I think it's oh, it's just water I think it's elevator. Actually, it's I think it's an elevator. And accent piece. Hi guys, how you guys doing? Oh yeah, it goes back up to the tower we were in. You can't actually get out though. <laughs> oh, fair enough. But yeah, definitely cool. Um, a lot of work put into this sort oh, of thing. Oh, then there's Iron Golem there. Some more, man. Tough, tough build, but very nice. Yeah. Little, little confused on the the layout. <laughs> I don't know where anything yeah, is. Yeah, it's ah! not it's not clear. Uh, and it looks like he's working with a uh, partner. Um, Seiya S E I Y A uh, is working with Alter Alterad A L T E R A D. I found where all the and, villagers uh, are sleeping. <laughs> hey guys, what? I mean, these guys. There's a lot of villagers. Yeah, he has quite a few villagers down here. He's got a he's got a city here. <laughs> Someone in the chat room just break the glass. Come on, <laughs> no, that's just. Are you mean. still lost? Are you still having a hard time getting? Out? Uh, kind of. <laughs> uh, I I you knew, want help? Uh, sure, might as well. We don't have all day for a show, so. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> There's a stairway to your left. Turn around. Oh, there you go. I see it. There. All right, very good. So there so, you go. Uh, something something I was saying I noticed uh, earlier is if when you come out here uh, and fly up above his tower mm -hmm. and look uh, behind you, yeah, that thing. So I don't know. It says it's made. It's it's been claimed by Seiya S E I Y A, and uh, it's not been submitted as a showcase. So, so we can't show um, it off. Somebody submit that thing because it looks cool. I I, I want to look at it, but we can't. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, this is cool. Alter D, a lot of underwater stuff. You can see he's got a couple little towers, and uh, definitely cool. A lot of work went into yeah. this. Um, so if you guys uh, have an awesome build in our community server, if you want to learn about our community server, uh, first thing you need to know is you can head over. Uh, to geekgamer.tv slash MC server info or just go to minecraftme.com. And there on that page, there's so many buttons you can click on if you want to find out more about Minecraft Me and uh, throw in your vote for Server Showcase. 
Um, at this time, I want to throw up all these names on the screen as well. These are the people that have joined us for our live show this week. And uh, when you join us for a live show, uh, we will, uh, our admins will just be so appreciative. We will give you EXP that you can use to your heart's content. Uh, so if you see your name on the screen, thank you so much for joining us for a show. We really do appreciate it. Uh, we usually do the show on Thursdays. However, you know, as schedules change, uh, we do update our calendar. We put out tweets and we let you know uh, what's going on. So awesome stuff, Joe. Really, um, I love our server showcases, and you know, I love ones from people that we don't recognize the names, and they they just come into our server, they build quietly, and then someone notices. And I think that's what happened here. Someone mm -hmm. noticed and said, hey, we got to show that off. So so here we go. All right. So now it's time for the part of the show where we actually uh, take your questions. You can send them into the show. It's now time for this segment called Minecraft Me Methodist. Here we go. It's time to open up the old mailbag. It's time for Minecraft Me Messages. Now, the great thing about Minecraft Me Messages is you can actually... Send in videos. We love your video uh, video emails. You get to the head of the line, by the way. Now, the first person to, uh, to write in here, uh, unfortunately, his audio, he uh, decided to do this in a windstorm. So I'm going to turn it down really low, and I will tell you what he said. Uh, but here, here is the uh, here is his message. And today, I would just want to ask about uh, how you get your podcast getting it on iTunes, and I would like to know how. By the way, our trampoline flipped over today. It is Halloween. I am really psyched. I'm not allowed to go trick-or-treating, though, but I am allowed to buy buttloads of candy. So, yeah. How would you get your podcast on iTunes? Now, typically, Joe, I would uh, just go ahead and tell you what his question is and answer it. However, I, 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 uh, I can't really do that, and you know why? Well, because, Joe, we actually also got a another question of a similar nature. Hello, Joe and wow. Chase. We are 98 once again, and I have one question that's been boggling my mind since I've discovered iTunes. is how to create a podcast and post it on iTunes. Because I'm thinking of making a podcast, so... I mean, the, you guys could do a whole episode on this, but it's, I don't know if it's really hard or not, so if you want to do a whole episode on it, great. If you just want to do like a 30 second thing or whatever, do it, it as long as it explains it so everybody can understand how to do it. So, see you guys later, and hope you guys have a great week. Well, thanks for the question. Actually, thanks both of you for the questions. Same questions. You guys want to know how to make podcasts. Uh, really not in the scope of this show. Uh, <laughs> yes, I know you probably want to make a Minecraft podcast, but the, a lot of people who listen and pay attention to this show uh, don't want to hear me talk about how to make a podcast. That being said... Um, there are other things that I do on the network on Geek Gamer TV that talks about podcasting and things like that. And uh, I have some positive news that I will share uh, after the show because it's not really part of the show. Uh, but just watch us on Twitter. Watch us on Facebook. You're going to learn. I, I have outlets available to you. Uh, and it's not too hard. I will answer this. It's not hard, but it, it involves putting your uh, material up somewhere and just putting it up on YouTube isn't the only answer. That's not a podcast. Uh, there's a lot involved. You could do it cheaply and easily, uh, but there's a lot involved with that. So let's go through some of the questions that we got. Well, well, uh, we did get one more video question just before we went, and it was somebody who emailed us the question or a, a video beforehand. We didn't have a chance to show it then. Ah, I, I just saw it. I just saw did it. Find it. Okay. Yep, yep. I did, yep. and uh, let me. Uh, and it's cool. Yeah, I, I, I already pre watched. You pre-screen. I did pre-screen this question. <laughs> okay, it's cool. Uh, it cool. Yeah. So this just in uh, by by the skin of bridges, as they say. Here we go. Let me. Uh, let's take a look here. Hey, Joe and Chase, Joel Logan and Black Ninja Blade One here. That's me. We're at uh, the Northeast Georgia Boy <laughs> Scout Council Fall Family Camping for Cub Scouts this weekend, and there's a scarecrow competition. One of our Cub Scout packs did a pretty neat. <laughs> 
uh, Minecraft Scarecrow for the competition. We thought you'd enjoy it. We wanted to show it to you. Oh, here. wow. You can see all the hard work they put in. That is it. You can see little hero Brian oh, here. I love the blocks. There. I love the TNT. That's great. I got a creeper there and a, I guess a Boy Scout Steve and a Scarecrow <laughs> with a pumpkin head. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this video wasn't too long. Nah, it's just perfect. And you got a Duck Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, that was great. I love the detail in the little blocks. That is so yeah. cool. That's awesome. Yeah. That's Definitely great. Definitely cool. Yeah. All right. Well, we got that in by the skin of our teeth. And now it's time for some email messages, uh, just regular written stuff. Uh, first one comes in from Brock. It says, Dear Joe and Chase, I was thinking about starting a server that just me and my friends could play on. I know there are some good people out there that can get past the defenses and get into your server anyway. I also know that they can hack your computer through the server. Well, not, not really. Uh, well, so, well, it's always a chance. Always a chance, that's true. So I wanted to ask you, is it safe to open server for just for my friends? The likelihood of that happening is probably very low. Anyhow, keep up the great show and server. No doubt this message was too long. No, it was, it was just right. Um, yeah. One thing you can do, Brock, is if you are proficient in setting up your own server, you can always make it whitelisted. Uh, meaning you have to get your friends' handles, their usernames. You put them on the list, and only those people can join your server. Everyone else would just be kicked back. They will never even get in. Yeah. Um, the other thing you can do, actually, that might be a little better, if it's oh. just for you and some friends, is in addition to whitelisting, I would recommend whitelisting no matter what, but in addition to whitelisting, change the default server port. Ah, good call. Uh, because Minecraft defaults to connect on a specific port. If you change that number, you can still connect it. You just have to put a colon and the new port number behind it. But it will keep random like things from just finding the server on its own because it won't be on the standard port. Yeah. So that'll that'll help a little bit as well. But I would do those two things, and you you should be okay. Uh, you'll have to obviously poke a hole in whatever firewall you're using to allow people to connect into it. But that should do great. Um, of course, the third option. If you don't want to deal with that, yeah. is sign up for a Minecraft Realms account. Yeah, there you um, go. The uh, the Mojang is is pushing that out to more and more people, and you, I mean, it is a monthly cost, but you can set up a server when you want it and take it down when you don't want it, and it will it'll handle for I think it's up to sixteen players without any difficulty. Wow. So. Next message comes in from Isaac says, "Hey Joe and Chase, I was wondering if you could bring up the IP address for each server that you showcase." Also, I am new to the public server, and I can't find any area to claim. It's frustrating. It's always the same person or some admin that claimed it. I was wondering if the server could have a claim limit. Thanks, guys, and the totally awesome show. I can't wait to see, can't wait to see episode 100. So obviously, he's, he's back a little bit. Um, yeah. uh, here's the thing. First off, the IP address for the servers that we showcase is just one. It's ours. Uh, so if you're already in our server, you're already there. Uh, the other thing, though, and I'm and I this is on my list of things to do is there it was, it was a portal at spawn that takes you to a building area. I'm gonna do one last one because we're gonna be doing a uh, map change here soon. Uh, so if you go, if you go to spawn and you go through this portal, then you can find some areas to build. Believe me, there's plenty of spaces to build. The problem is obviously getting to them. Uh, yep. So I'll set something up, make it nice and easy for you. Uh, for everybody who want to do some last builds, join the server before we start fresh. So that will definitely happen. Um, now, someone did see our episode 100 show already. This was MacCraft2000, and he was watching episode 100 when he had a great idea. Would he be able to run a Minecraft server, preferably Bucket, and maybe even a small team speak on a Raspberry Pi? I would run it for about 13 and a half hours a day, I love 13 and a half. <laughs> what a specific number. And sometimes 24-7 yeah. on weekends. Could the pie handle this? Uh, thanks for reading, and I hope this message was just the right amount of characters. Uh, I, no. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb well, and say no. I, with the well, team, no, no, no. A team speak and a server on a pie? So both? I don't I don't know about the team speak server because I'm not sure if there's a version of TeamSpeak that'll run on Raspberry Pi or not. Okay. Uh, as for the Minecraft server, bucket servers, uh, a bucket server or a vanilla Minecraft server, you can't, but you could run a spigot server, which is bucket compatible on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, 
I haven't done that, but it was something we were told about at MindCon, and it's on my list of things to try. The number of clients it could support, though, is going to be very low. Raspberry Pis do not have very much memory, even though Bucket is, or or Spigot rather is pretty memory memory efficient. You wouldn't be able to support more than just a handful of players. Uh, I would say probably even as low as three or four. But you should be able to run at least the Minecraft server there. Uh, and if you just have that many players, you might look at something besides TeamSpeak to do group chat. Uh, whether you want to do a, a, a private Google Hangout or you could do Skype multi-chat if somebody buys Skype Premium. You know, there's a few options there where you can do chats that way with a group of people without having to rely on a TeamSpeak server. Right. Now, you guys, if you have your questions for us, you can send them to us, minecraftme at geekgamer.tv. We do answer questions every single episode. Now, you may be wondering, well, you didn't read my question. Well, it's important that you know you format it well, that we can actually read your question, and you, you put it together, and you keep it at the topic at hand. Uh, it could be anything related to Minecraft. So if you have a question about a mod, a texture pack, something happening on a map, you know, some weird things you've seen, or you just need some help, uh, send them to us. Now, we can't troubleshoot computers and systems and networking and why people can't connect to your server. You know, there's things that we just can't do, obviously. So, But if you have a question and uh, you want to take a crack at it, minecraftme at geekgamer.tv. You can also head over to our website at minecraftme.com. Uh, there you can actually subscribe uh, to the show. You can check out all of our Minecon coverage, not only episode 100, uh, but we actually broke out our interviews with QCraft, Spigot and Essentials, Minecraft EDU, and more. Uh, just head over to minecraftme.com. And there on the right-hand side of the page, we have many helpful links. For example, you want to contact the show? There's a button you can click. If you want to join our community forums, you can click that. If you've been griefed, uh, all that fun jazz, including our server showcase nomination form, all that is found right here. Uh, you can also subscribe to the show on iTunes, uh, MP3 versions, HD versions, as well as if you have an Android or Windows Phone and you don't use iTunes, we have RSS feeds here as well. You can just download it. And as you can see, we have a Roku app. So uh, if you want to watch the show on your Roku, you can. You can watch us live on your uh, Roku or watch all of our previous stuff. It's really, really cool. Mr. Joseph Falby, uh, you can follow him on Twitter at Falby, F-A-L-B-E-Y, if you want to. Um, but when he plays, you see him as Payback. That's what I'm talking about, Mr. Joseph Falby. Thank you, sir. You're awesome. It's always fun. Always. You can also uh, follow me on Twitter if you want, at Nunes, N-U-N-E-S. And when I play Minecraft, or most games, I'm Sir Chaos, S-I-R-C-H-A-O-S. Uh, don't forget, you can follow uh, the network on Twitter, at Geek Gamer TV if you want to know when we go live with shows, not just Minecraft, but other things as well. And if you're watching us live, stay tight, because we have a special announcement outside the realm of this show. So there you go, you guys. Episode 101 is in the books. Episode 102 will be next week. For Mr. Joseph Falby, I'm Chase Nunes. Thank you for watching and downloading and hanging out with us in the community. We will see you guys next week. Keep digging. <laughs>